Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 8 Rotational of Rigid Body. In this video, we will discuss 8.4 Conservations of Angular Momentum. Angular Momentum is defined as the product of angular velocity of the body and is moment inertial about the rotational axis. So we can write it as angular momentum L equals to I omega. Okay, so it's actually analog with the linear momentum where P equals to NV. So now for angular momentum, we will write as L equals to I omega where I is similar like our mass and that omega is similar like a linear velocity. The moment inertia of the body, if let's say it is a human or an animal, usually I is equal to M r squared and the angular velocity omega we can also write it as v over r so therefore m r squared equals to v over r if you cancel off r we sometimes we can write it as m v r angular momentum is a vector quantities meaning that we need to consider the magnitude and direction and the unit we use is kg meter square per second Next, we continue with the principle of conservation of angular momentum where principle of conservation of angular momentum state that the total angular momentum of the system remain constant if the net external force acting on it is zero meaning that there is no external torque acting on the system The initial angular momentum is equal to the final angular momentum or we can write it as I initial omega initial equals to i final omega final let us look at the example so here we have two examples the first one is the spinning ice skater initially this skater is open her hand so what happened is i equals to m r squared so when we open the hand r is increased m is still constant because the same person Therefore, I, the moment inertia, will increase. Therefore, the initial angular momentum equals to I initial omega initial. When I is increased, omega will decrease. So, when she close her hand, I final equals to M R square. So, when R reduce, moment inertia final also will reduce. So, therefore, angular momentum will equal to I final omega final when I final reduce omega will increase that's why finally if she close her arm what happened is she will spin faster okay case number two is fan okay here we have two fan initially A the fan is dirty and after that we clean up what happened to this fan so initial I initial is equal to M R square what happened is currently the fan is dirty, yeah, it's full of dust but the radius is still constant so what happened is M is increased when M increased, moment inertia will increase L equals to I omega when I increase, omega will reduce so meaning that when the fan is full of dust it will spin slower so if we clean the dust of the fan I final equals to M final R final R still the same so what happened when we clean the dust the mass is reduced okay the mass because the dust is disappeared so moment inertia will reduce therefore the angular momentum is equals to I final omega final where when I final reduce omega will increase so that's why when we clean the dust the fan will spin faster okay because of m reduce okay because of m reduce i reduce so therefore omega will increase exercise 7 1a 
explain how the principle of conservation of angular momentum is used by an acrobat to rotate a few revolutions while leaping through the air. Okay, so what happened is as the acrobat flies through the air, he curves his body to bring his limb closer to the axis of rotation. Okay, so if we follow conservation of angular momentum, we know that the initial total angular momentum must equal to the final total angular momentum. Okay, so when he close or he brings his arm, the radius is reduced. So I equals to m r squared. When r reduce, I also will reduce. L final equals to I final omega final. The final moment inertia will reduce. Therefore, the final angular velocity will increase. B a scatter is turned at the three radian per second. So omega initial is equal to three revolutions per second with both arm upstretched so that she has the moment inertia of I equals to four kilo gram meter square after that her arms are now drawn is so that he she has a new moment inertia so now moment inertia is 1.8 final calculate her final angular velocity so we want to find the final angular velocity total initial angular momentum is equal to the total final angular momentum or we can write as i initial omega initial equals to i final omega final so we substitute 4 times 3 equals to 1.8 times the final angular velocity final angular velocity is equal to 4 times 3 over 1.8 you will get 6.7 radian per second now we go to questions number c a turnable rotates about the vertical exit through the center so here they give you 25 rpm 25 rpm meaning it's 25 revolutions so it's time 2 pi over 1 minute so we divide by 60 second so therefore we will get 50 pi over 60 2.82 radian per second the moment inertia of the turnable about the exit initial moment initial i is equal to 0 0.228 after that a disk of moment inertia 0 0.142 is dropped onto the turn table so our i final is 0 0.228 plus 0 0.142 after the disk drop onto the turn a table so assume that there is no external torque acting on the system calculate the common angular velocity on the turn table and also this so we want to find final angular velocity by applying conservations of angular momentum i initial omega initial equals to i final omega final so initial is 0 0.228 omega initial is 2.62 equals to 0 0.228 plus 0 0.142 times the final angular velocity final angular velocity is equal to 1.61 radian per second number two a horizontal platform in the shape of circular disc rotates freely in a horizontal plane about a frictionless vertical exit the platform has the mass m 100 kg and the radius 2 meter a student whose mass is 60 kg walks slowly from the rim of the disc towards its center okay so initially this student is at the 2 meter after that it walks slowly into the center okay and when you walk to the center the radius reduced to 0 0.5 meter so the angular speed if, uh, of the system is uh, initially is omega initial is equal to 2 radian per second so we want to find after this student's walk near to the center what is our final angular velocity okay so we know that conservation of angular momentum i initial omega initial equals to i final omega final so initially we have a this and also a student so we write i this plus i students initial omega is 2 and final when the student is walk near to the center we also have i this plus i students but now i students already changed the radius to 0 0.5 times the final angular speed so we substitute into the equation i this is given half m r square plus i students 
is m r square initial r is equal to 2 so m r i substitute r square times 2 and i this still the same half m r square plus i students so now students already at the radius of 0 0.5 so i substitute m and the radius for the student is 0 0.5 square times the final angular speed so i substitute half m for the this is given 100 and the radius is 2 meter plus m student is 60 kg so 60 times 4 because it's 2 square okay so half 100 r for the this is still the same 2 square plus student is 60 0 0.5 square the final angular speed is equals to 4.09 radian per second if r reduce i will reduce Okay, so L equals to I omega when I reduce the omega will increase uh, meaning that it will spin faster. Question number 3. A 200 wooden disc of the radius is rotating with the angular speed. So initially it's rotating with the angular speed is equal to 4 radian per second. A 50 kg bed of the sand fall onto the disc okay, at the edge of the wooden. Okay, so after that there is a, a bed of sand fall onto the disc. Okay, so we use conservations of angular momentum. I initial we only have the wooden disc where it's equal to half m r square times omega is equal to 4. And final moment inertia is the disc plus the a back of the set. So we have I for the disc and also I for the set times the final angular speed. So we substitute into the equation half m is the 200 okay here we have 200 radius is 3 meter square times the initial angular speed equals to i this uh, still the same half m 200 r is 3 square plus i cent okay i cent is m r square so m is okay i cent is m r square so it's 50 and it's at the radius of 3 meter okay, m r square so we need to find the final angular speed the final angular speed is equal to 2.67 radian per second okay so that's all for this chapter thank you class see you on next chapter simple harmonic motion bye